taking a while might be because you're in the call but that shouldn't matter good afternoon everybody after a little late start getting tram into the room hello tram can i hear you can you hear me uh, yes Lynn, i can hear you and so Yay! i hope you can hear me <laughs> oh thank goodness <laughs> Okay, Igor, yes, I can see your request. Indeed, I can. Uh, but today is a slight difference in that before I invite anybody into the room, uh, Traum is going to do give a little presentation on um, an article from Spotlight, which is about repair cafes. Now, Traum's put in the forum, I'm sure you've heard of this method without the E, by the way, Traum, to get broken stuff fixed again. But not everybody's heard of repair cafes, Traum, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> Great, yeah. Igor, that's good. I'm glad. I will invite you into the room once Traum has done the reading. So, Traum, uh, can you remind me which, um, which edition of Spotlight is it from? This particular yes, yes. article. It's April. April. Okay, great. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Just so I can read it whilst you're, um, whilst you're, I can read along whilst you're actually reading, and now I can give you any feedback necessary. Okay, so bear with me one second, and what I'll do, everybody. Um, I can't share on the screen, obviously, but I will share the text with you in local chat, okay? Uh, so, Tram, are you ready to do the reading? Are you ready um, to read? Do you want me to read the page? Or I, I want, want you to read the article. Yeah, I want you to read the article itself, okay? A community uh -huh. fix. A community fix, yes. Okay. Is, is the voice, is the volume of my voice better now, please? It's much better, thank you, yes. Okay. A so when are you ready? United States, is your coffee maker kaput? Your toaster toasted? Do you have a lamp that leaves you in the dark? If the answer to any of these is yes, go directly to the repair cafe nearest you. In the US, they, 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 in the US, they exist in 11 states worldwide, says the foundation's website. There are more than 1,200 of them in 30 countries. Repair cafe gatherings much people with broken toys ripped clothes and defective electro electronics to those who may be able to fix them for free. One of the things that makes it challenging and interesting is that we don't know what people are going to bring. Ray Fow, a repair cafe organizer in the US state of Massachusetts, told the New York, York Times. Former journalist Martin Postma created the Repair Café concept in Amsterdam, starting the non-profit organization in 2009. Her idea was to push back against throwaway culture. Because repair costs are high, people often take broke things to the camp and then simply buy something new guidelines and tips for people who want to open new locations can be found on repaircafe.org. There is no cost to, particip to participants, but the profits in terms of community are tremendous. Liz Bickett, who is raising four children on her own, two of them teenagers, visiting the Repair Café in the town of New Paltz. New York. She needed help with boosted headphones and a computer. It opened my eyes to the fact that this stuff is built to fail, she said, adding that the, op that the, um, uh, the prop, uh, prop, right, yet, dare, 
way in which some products are built can make it tough even to take them apart. But try, she must. I would not be able to replace every single thing they break, the kid said, referring to her children. Are you kidding me? Very good. Well done. Proprietary. Proprietary. Oh, yes. oh, not word. pro. Pro. Proprietary. Proprietary. Yes. Anybody know what proprietary means? If something is proprietary. Basically, if you are. Um, talking about products here, you're talking about product, products that have a trade name. So like Hoover yeah, is a proprietary product. It actually belongs to the Hoover company, although we often use it for um, any vacuum cleaner in the UK. A vacuum cleaner tends to be called a Hoover, but Hoover is actually a proprietary name. Okay. Belonging to someone. Yeah, Igor, exactly. So, um, does everybody know what a repair cafe is? Do you have any repair cafes in your country or in your area? Have you ever been to one? Hermina, have you ever been to one? No, no, never. I think... No, Not even I, for I, your Mina. <laughs> haven't, you? haven't you asked me? Yeah, yeah, I did. But you said your Mina was broken. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I, oh, God, Linda, I would. Do you mean I should pack my washer in the in the? <laughs> yeah, it tends to be for some people. Do. Do repair cafe. <laughs> no, you've no. never heard of it. Okay, let's let's invite Igor in. Igor's the only one I think who's raised their hand at the moment. So, Igor, um, when you join, you need to be on your PC or computer or laptop preferably with a good connection and a headset, okay? So I'm going to invite you in. You'll have to accept the Webinar Jam app and go through the test. You have to go through the test every time you join a call. Okay, sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> well, Namiri, they are a great idea. Now, that said, in the article, if you notice, she does mention headsets. Now, I did go to a repair cafe in Germany with a broken headset. And it's only a wire that's broken, but they couldn't fix it. And as they say, it's almost like these things are designed to fail. Once upon a time, if it was broken, we fixed it. We didn't go out and buy a new whatever it was, neither washing machine nor television. I can remember the TV repairman coming round. Um, and now you're very lucky if you can find anybody willing to repair something. I don't know if it's the same way you are, Hermina. Hi, yes. April. Nice to see you. Yeah, sorry, Hermina. Now, yeah, nowadays, you are right. When, when our, uh, we have a flat screen, and when, uh, when we have any problems, and I call the TV man, then I explain him what type we are have uh, on, on the telly. And then she says, no, no, there's no chance to repair it. There, yeah. Everything that's in it is, is not made for, for any uh, repair. Yeah, it's sad, really. Igor, can I hear you? Can you hear me? Both ways. Okay, I can't hear you at the moment. Could you unmute your mic and say hello? Don't forget your mic is muted when you join. Yeah, hello. Hi. <laughs> It will automatically mute. It saves you, especially um, if you've got a video camera, it saves your blushes. You don't have to switch your video on, but you do have to switch your mic on. <laughs> How are you? So you've never heard of a repair cafe because Hermina thinks everybody's heard of them. Well, we don't have it because uh, I think in Russia it's... Um, uh... It will be dangerous uh, to go to go to bring something to that kind of cafe because you know uh, we can uh, bring there something uh, not not very kaput so maybe a TV set or um, a computer and uh, I'm not sure if uh, our uh, Russian very 
uh, very clever boys uh, they will uh, repay it by they will also change um, um, good um, good parts uh, for uh, already bad parts well you see Ooh. well yeah, I, I think i think it's possible here mm. i mean actually what you often find that happens in a repair cafe they don't fix it for you they show you how to fix it and all the tools are there that you might need to fix it although sometimes they shake their head and go sorry no you can't repair that <laughs> well from, from that article i i understood that uh, they repair it uh, if if you bring it something to them to the, the yeah, they, they help you repair it okay. okay now it would of course depend on how it's being run uh, but it's it's free that's the thing so they're not really going to do the work for you but what they will do is they'll say oh yeah we can fix that you can fix you can fix that here you'll need this you'll need that take the back off take this part out or go and get one of those bits bring it and they kind of talk you the people who are there kind of over it's a bit like being in crafts at school <laughs> it's back in the sort of you know woodwork room or something <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if that's how every cafe, repair cafe works, but the one I went to in Germany, that's how it worked. I think Namori, Namiri's just joined us. Hello, Namiri. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Um, I think it, it depends on the participants. If they yeah. are engineers or technic, uh, te maybe. Engin of, uh, Hang on. Stop. Uh, yeah. Engineers, <laughs> not engineers, engineers and technicians. Engineers, yeah, and they have time and the knowledge and the skills. Uh, not the cafe itself has to master it. It's just, it's all about the participants. Yeah. Okay. I mean, when I went, it was a really nice atmosphere and everybody was very friendly because I was a little worried about going. Uh, but as I say, I took a headset in, um, the microphone part had broken off and it was just hanging through just a couple of copper wires that were still working. <laughs> but it was my, my favorite headset. It was a great gaming headset. Uh, but they just took a look at it and they went, no, I'm sorry. And it was so annoying. Because the head, the actual microphone was detachable, but you couldn't buy a spare one. Um, Creative Labs, last microphone I ever bought of theirs, because they had a detachable microphone. And when I contacted them and said, oh, it's broken, can I have a replacement? They went, oh, sorry, no, we don't do replacements. And I'm like, well, why did I buy a headset with a detachable microphone, you numpties? So I didn't buy another Creative Labs headset. Mm. And that's why. <laughs> Okay, so, um, Namiri, are you in the room? I haven't heard you yet. Take the mic. Don't forget, you have to unmute your mic. Well, by by the way, uh, do they offer coffee or tea in, in the cafe? Yeah, oh yeah, that's the whole idea of it being a cafe. It's sort of more of a social event, you know? It's really nice. It was really nice. I keep looking to see if I've got anything else broken that I can take. <laughs> The reason Just to for go the there. experience, yeah. <laughs> it's it's communal, yeah. It's not like going to a shop where you know you're the customer and they're the person serving you or anything. It's just it's somewhere you go because you need help and there are people there who are willing to help you. I love it. I really do. Uh, Namiri's got two, two, two. Oh, um, we are speaking, Namiri. Try refreshing um, your browser. Okay, sometimes a quick refresh will kick things in. Okay, so Hermina, you also wrote about the article, which I thought that was above and beyond the call of duty, you know. I was really pleased when I saw that. I was like, wow, she's really getting into writing, which is great. Now, I haven't corrected it. Okay, um, that's up to you. If you would like me to correct it, I can do. I wasn't sure if somebody else might correct it for you, but they haven't yet. It's up to you. If you'd like me to correct it, I will, of course. Yes, of course. Yes, of course, I will. Please, 
Okay, but it's it's absolutely clear what you were saying. And um, so instead of, how many times did you have to get your Mila repaired? Can you remember? Oh, maybe four or five times within the 25 years. That's not bad. That's about five, five years and then a repair and then another 25 year old washing machine is not too bad at all. Yeah, yeah, I know the the meal uh, used to to have a long time, but used to. <laughs> and uh, so the new one will also have a long life. Yeah, they wouldn't have a long time. They last a long time. Okay, they last. Yeah, I, I don't seem to be able to keep a washing machine beyond ten years here, but the water here is terrible. I don't know if you know what I mean when I say the water is very hard. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of hard water? <laughs> yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it furs everything up, even the kettle. Um, when you boil the kettle, if you don't clean it at least once a week, it gets all furry inside with lime, lime scale. Yeah, And I think that's why, even though I use, I use little tablets that are meant to soften the water, it doesn't work. <laughs> Do you use chemical to, to get it cl uh, cl uh, clean or cl uh, to get rid of the... of the um... In the washing machine, but not in my taps, no. I don't like the idea of having it in the taps. But yes, I, I've got these tabs um, that are they're meant to be e-cover tabs that are meant to soften the water. But yeah. 10 years is about our life for a washing machine, I think. <laughs> Igor's laughing at me. Igor, why are you laughing? <laughs> Speak a little bit slower. I'm writing your tips for washing machines. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How long? How long does your washing machine usually last, then, Igor? <laughs> um, my washing machine is okay, but uh, my kettle, uh, my kettle was also okay, um, not because of water, but because of my memory. Um, uh, some days ago, I uh, turned on the gas. Uh, gas oven and I forgot about uh, tea kettle and oh. I started uh, yeah I started um, phoning with my friends and uh, uh, you know this um, uh, uh, tariff uh, tariff without uh, limits so I talked uh, over phone about uh, for about one hour no. and, uh, yeah 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 and then I um, uh, I forgot about the kettle at all and I went just uh, to kitchen to drink some water. And I see uh, gas, and uh, the kettle was uh, empty already, and uh, the kettle was uh, all in uh, in dirt, in dirt. <laughs> and I had to uh, wash it uh, to boil it with uh, lemon acid, just to get rid of this uh, all of this that was You're inside lucky the kettle. You didn't set it. As lucky. You didn't I, 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 I think, I think if, if I knew. <laughs> If I knew about uh, this repair cafe, I would bring my kettle to the to, to them <laughs> to repair <laughs> everything. You're lucky it didn't melt. I was, it, yeah. It's five yeah. though. You've you've got yeah. your kettle still. It could explode. <laughs> I think. It, well, it, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Um, I've got an electric kettle. It switches itself. Maybe you need to get an electric kettle. <laughs> it switches itself off when it's boiling. <laughs> Gas is uh, rather cheap here, so... <laughs> well, yeah, not gas. here. Your gas is not cheap here. <laughs> I'm sure I've got Russian gas. It's really expensive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gazprom, uh, our dreams come true. Yeah, I'll bet. I'll bet. But even so, it could be more expensive if you burn your house down. <laughs> Yeah, oh, hard water you. deposits, exactly, Trow, exactly. Uh, Namiri, have you managed to get the thing to work? Namiri, any luck? Not sure if they're in the room or not. You can hear us, but you're not in the room. Can can you speak? You're not in the room anymore, I don't think. Um, so you can hear us, but I'm, it looks like you haven't got the connection. You might try just clearing your cache. 
if you haven't done it since the last time you came to speak with us, but you should be able to join us. April, do you want to put your hand up and join us? See if it's working? Because I you you read you um wrote you learn how to repair it there, which is yeah, how it works. The one in our area, that's how it works. But I love that kind of initiative that's community led, not run by a company, not run by a government, just run by normal people who have an idea. Um, okay, so your new Mila, is it as good as the old one, Hermina? <laughs> Pardon me, what was, what was your question? Your new, I don't know if, if you're like me, but I get attached to appliances. I like them, you know, they get their own little quirks. You get you get used to how they operate how they work and i don't like replacing them and when i do replace them i always criticize them it's not as good as the old one is your yes. new washing machine as good as your old one <laughs> it has one program that i like very it it runs for 20 minutes and my kids like to change their clothes very often oh yeah yeah and there is no it, it, there is no necessary to, to wash them uh, for long. There's um, no to need. Them, to have them too long in the washer. So the There's... 20 minutes, I think I like it. And uh, I had, uh, it wasn't on my old washer. Okay. You wouldn't say this is no necessary. There's no need to wash them for longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it's not necessary. It's not yeah. necessary to. I, I feel there was something something wrong with the work. I guess. <laughs> Okay, done. Namiri, put your hand up again. Let's see if we can. I'll return you as an attendee. And if you put your hand up again, when April has joined, we will invite you in as well. Let's see how many people we can get in the room. We've never gone beyond five, you know. It's meant to take six, but we never managed beyond five. But I'm really glad we got you in, Hermina, anyway. So mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping that, you know, fingers crossed. <laughs> It will keep working like that. But that's how it should work. You raise your hand, I invite you in, and you should just be able to come in and speak. Uh, but the I'm a bit worried that it didn't work with the link I sent you. Yeah, Did you I, find I, the email, by the way? Have you found that email yet? Yes, I, I got it. But it okay. wasn't in the spam filter. It and was. Yes, it was. It wasn't. Oh. Ooh, it wasn't. Oh, okay. Where was it then? <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it was. It was not in the spam filter. I found it uh, in, uh, in the normal uh, page. So you and just ignored it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm joking. I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you. How strange. Okay, but still, the link didn't work. <laughs> <To understand. laughs> Okay, April. I think I just saw April pop in the room. Can I hear you? Can you hear me, April? Uh, yes. Yay! Excellent. Good, good, good. Um, okay, what you said about the, you think they teach you how to repair things. Yeah, that's the set. You have them in your area then. You, have you ever been to one? Uh, no. I heard that uh, kind of cafe some years ago. And they started with a kind of uh, a fair, or how do you say that? So, so they organized a, an uh, an open day that everybody can come with their uh, defect things, the uh, small things. You can't you can't bring your meal uh, to there. I don't I don't think so. It uh, will be a little bit too difficult. So something for to repairing your clothes, for example, the zipper or your handbag uh, or your shoes, uh, uh, just small things. It started with that kind of uh, organization. And uh, and then the, they started with the, uh, an, an opening of uh, some of places in every region for... Uh, uh, for in a fixed place then and i know that here in our street there was one i've never been there because i never needed to and ne i've never needed to, to repair anything mostly i do that myself at home 
and it it is it was out that uh, always successful and then uh, uh, they call it work at place uh, it's not, uh, it was it was in the past that the place was a restaurant a chinese restaurant and it calls work place so it was work place and then uh, it is closed because uh, it doesn't uh, it didn't uh, 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 it, it doesn't work well, and they took it over to make it like this repair cafe, and they, they, they give that the name instead of work at uh, work pl work workplace. They, they work, put work it place. <laughs> workplace and work at place. <laughs> it is it is nice. They, they just put the the R the R the R. Uh, they just add the R. But no, I uh, last time when I uh, passing when I was passing by, I saw that uh, it is already closed again. So I don't know. Oh, Maybe wow. people people around here here the surrounded, so they don't need that. And sometimes if uh, if I like the uh, that uh, things that uh, that that is defect, for example, I try to to do it myself. And sometimes I think, oh, it's not worth it to repair it or or yeah, can, to can let I it stop, repair. Can I stop you saying defect? Things that are defect. You can have a defect that normally is something that's wrong with something that's new. Yeah, there's a defect here. I'm not buying this, or I want a replacement. This is, or it is defective. And again, it tends to mean there's something wrong with it. What you need is broken. I repair things if they're broken or if they need altering. For clothing, we repair clothes or we alter them. So, you know, if your trousers are too long, you can shorten them. That's an alteration. If you've got a hole in your trousers, you repair it. Okay, they're not broken, though. They're just, I don't know, too short or they're ripped or they have a hole in them. Uh, electronic devices, you'd say it's broken. Yeah. I'm I'm just reading about um, Hermina's old iPod. Apple said they couldn't replace the battery. Is that really true, Hermina? Yes, yes. Oh. I was in a super noble app store in Innsbruck. It's the only one we have there. And the young man told me there is no chance uh, to, to exchange the battery. And then he went to a drawer and put out three or four new gadgets. <laughs> I'll bet he did. I'd contact head office if I were you, because as far as I know, that's what one thing Apple pride themselves on is that they will. I mean, you'll have to take, you'll have to send it away, but that they do exchange the battery for you. Contact head office, unless it's about 20 years old, then maybe not. <laughs> how, old, how old was it? Head office. Yeah, head office, absolutely. Don't accept no from somebody who isn't empowered to say yes. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah, good. So I'd say I went into the Innsbruck store and they said they can't exchange the battery. And yet, you know, when I bought it, I was assured that I just needed to bring it in to get the battery changed. I mean, they won't do it for free. They will charge you for the new battery. But everybody <laughs> I know who uses Apple say they do this. Once my one of my daughter had a problem with her iPhone, and uh, the the man or um, in the post office said that they uh, charge thirty euros, thirty two euros, just for looking in, and then they will say what the uh, the the cost of the repair will be additional. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, see, I'm I'm not an idolater. I I I I idolater. Yeah, the I. Never mind. <laughs> I don't buy Apple ever, um, just because I. I mean, I don't even want to buy the new Samsung. I've got my old Samsung, and if the battery goes, I can replace it myself. But the new Samsungs, they've also gone that way, where you have to send it off to get the battery replaced. I think it's a crazy idea. Igor thinks I should run a repair cafe. Igor, you don't know me very well, do you? When I break things, I really do break them. <laughs> How do you describe something you can't repair? So there's the verb that, you know, you can repair this. Okay, it's... How would you say, if you can repair something, how do you describe it? 
<laughs> Any ideas? I get total loss, yeah. Okay, let's start with when you can repair something, we say it's repairable. Any idea of what it, we say when you can't? Unrepairable. <laughs> Aren't repairable. It isn't repairable. No. Well, you can always say it isn't repairable, but I'm looking for one word there. Unrepairable? Yeah, unrepairable. Yeah, absolutely. Unrepairable. That's it. You just stick unrepair. Oh, it's well done, April. I hadn't seen that. Unrepairable. But we also have another word that people sometimes get a little confused with, which is this one. Can anybody pronounce this one? Got repairable. Unrepairable. Irreparable. Irreparable. Mm, no, sorry. It's not that easy. No, I know. <laughs> it's irreparable. Oh, irreparable. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Pretty much yeah. the same meaning. It's irreparable. We can't repair it. But it can also mean other things as well. Um, if you uh, do damage to something, if you injure somebody, irreparable loss. So not quite like unrepairable, although it can be used instead of it, but it also indicates other things. A slightly different pronunciation. Unrepairable, irreparable. Okay. So do you agree with the lady from New York that said this stuff is built to fail, that modern things, I'm going to stop screen sharing now. So, do you agree that modern things are built to fail? I think yes, so. Um, when we have to put our car to the garage, the, um, uh, the workers there say, um, yeah, um, cars aren't built the way they were used to aren't built the way they used to be. They used to be. Mm -hmm. They they use, they, they put cheaper stuff in it and they know exactly what the car will get problems first. I'm sure. Yeah, I think, car, I think cars are actually a very good example of making things irreparable because I used to be able to fix not everything that would go. I wouldn't be able to change an engine, for example, but I could uh, change the spark plugs. I could change the filters myself. I could, you know, look at it and think, oh, what might be wrong? But now I open up a car. Um, I open up the boot of the car. Sorry, the um, I open up the uh, engine and I had look inside and it's like another planet it's there's nothing recognizable there anymore it's all electronics yeah. and yeah you're right you can't repair them yourself and even even in the garage the first thing they do is attach it to a computer to figure out what's wrong yeah that's so strange yeah really really so is anybody here can actually fix their own car i don't ask april i know there's some very sad stories about cars <laughs> Igor, can you fix your own car? Uh, uh, well, uh, I have problems with uh, all all the techniques. <laughs> so when I come to my computer, it it, it can it can break <laughs> at once because uh, every, everything I touch <laughs> is going wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like me. <laughs> so not not technique, technical. Yeah, anything technical. A any um, technical devices. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, technique is um, more technique, okay? A technique, a way of doing something, yeah? You need a certain technique uh, to be able to fix things. Technical is the items, okay? Uh, oh, I, I cannot, I can, I cannot um, fix anything on my own. Uh, well, uh, if something I, is wrong, if something I is thought that, I thought... wrong, 
I um, phoned my father and uh, he <laughs> is very, he's actually very glad uh, that uh, I asked him to fix something for me and uh, he, he can uh, devote uh, to this fixing some days because he is, uh, uh, he works no more. Now, he's retired. Uh, yeah, he is retired and uh, he is uh, every time he is ready to help me. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. But how come he's so good at fixing things, but you're not? What went wrong? <laughs> you didn't get the fixing gene. <laughs> so you, uh, when I'm online and you invite me and uh, I, I have to um, uh, go through this uh, triple check, uh, it's uh, always a problem for me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was inviting you to come and break everything. <laughs> But you're here, it's still working. You're not cursed. <laughs> By the way, triple, not triple. I know we say try often, but it's actually triple, I'm afraid. It's just a wonder I'm here. <laughs> it is. It's it's a miracle. It's a modern day miracle. <laughs> well, I I don't I don't blame anybody when things go wrong in these sessions because we push the technology by running these sessions and streaming them live. So I wouldn't blame you if it did break. And uh, so don't worry about that. So April, you just said it's not worth repairing. You mean your car? It's not worth repairing. Is it a write-off? Uh, no, a lot of things. Um, like um, a deep freezer. I have... Uh, a deep freezer, and not a, not a very big one, a table one, a table size. And it was a good one t because it was no frost, so I don't, I don't need to uh, unfrost it, never. But after one year, it started leaking. And uh, the technician said, uh, said that uh, ah, you have to to unfrost it totally, and that unfrosting cost me almost twenty four hours. Not like unlike uh, the the usual deep freezer with uh, just uh, no frost, not no frost one. You need only a couple of hours, and you can start uh, uh, filling it again with your stuff. But this one. You can't do anything. You have to just to 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 pull out the the power and the electricity, and uh, you let it uh, uh, unfrosting until you think okay, everything is is melted. And uh, and then uh, after two three times, it 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 works again after I've unfrosted it, and then the, it start uh, uh, the same problem leaking again. And and I and after the the second time, I think okay, I will buy a new one because even the, the even the, the technician who who brought the new uh, deep freezer for me, he said, oh, buy just buy a new one. That's cheaper, and you got a new you, you get a new one, and it's cheaper than reparation. The cost of reparation. So that is the and then the, uh, not so long ago my my uh, tap, the shower tap. Uh, when I bought it, it was four years ago, I think, and it was from a good uh, brand. It was with a ceramic, said that ceramic or ceramic, Lynn? I don't know. Ceramic? Ceramic? Ceramic. Ceramic. Okay. A freezer, a from deep freezer, not a refrigerator. And um, uh, it started also leaking from the from the shower, so I know in the past when it was leaking, you have just to to uh, change the some some rubber inside. You can do it yourself if you can uh, lose that uh, that handle. But this one is uh, so complicated that I I think no I uh, I uh, I'd better call somebody. I, I luckily I know a friend who who is uh, plumber plumber plumber, and then uh, he came and I thought he will he will, he will 
uh, repair that. No, Lin, <laughs> he brought me a new one. And he said, no, I never re repair that kind of thing. It's not worth it. You did, you never know which one is, is, uh, is uh, broken. And uh, uh, this is a new one. And you get the new one. And it's finished. And it's, it cost me only 10 minutes. And advice if I have to repair it, it costs you maybe longer, one or two, three, or two, three days. So it, they just make it like that. Even uh, you will think that uh, something that uh, irrepar irrep irre irreparable, 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 irreparable is uh, cheap, but it isn't. Eh? It is even expensive, but still you can repair it. I don't know what they want. Maybe it is the industrialization. I don't know. Well, I think it's the fact that, you know, when they're built, they're built on mass. Okay. And they're churned out, you know, thousands a day. And so it's all put together very quickly. It doesn't cost much and a lot of it's mechanized. But as soon as you add a human being and you can't just put it onto a conveyor belt to get it repaired. Somebody's got to look at it and figure out what's wrong and then take something out and put something new in. And I think it's humans that cost, you know, because we want to eat and we want to uh, be paid enough that we can go on holiday and things like that. So I think it's just the human cost is the expense. Once we've got the robots figured out how to repair things for us, I think we'll be better off actually April. <laughs> But then we'll need somebody to repair the robots, especially if Igor's got a robot, he'll break it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just wanted to point out a couple of things. Um, you said reparation, April. No, reparation is something you do sort of like post after a war, a uh, country will pay reparations um, for the damage done. Okay, uh, so um, cheaper than repairing it not cheaper than reparation, cheaper than repairing it, okay? And we okay. don't un, you don't unfreeze something, you defrost it to defrost ah, yeah. the fridge. Defrost, yeah, okay, yeah. defrost. That's right, one of my favorite things I ever heard an English teacher say, and I'm afraid they weren't a native speaker, but don't tell anybody, but they did, tell, they did teach their students to melt the fridge. And I was like, um, that would be very dangerous, you don't want to do that. So to defrost means to remove the frost from the fridge and the freezer, not to, um, and you can also defrost frozen food. Yeah, so it's not melted, it's still there, it's still food, but it's not frozen anymore, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, Namiri, um, I know you're trying to get in. If you're getting any peculiar message, or if you're ending up somewhere where you can't see us, or if you could take a screenshot send it to me in the forum or post it on the forum and i will tell webinar uh, jam support what's happening okay because as long as your connection speed is okay it should work now i'm going to also send you to a little help uh page okay um let me just find the link for you Bear with me a second. Oops. Let's see if it's working. Okay. And no, maybe, maybe you you can change your browser. Yeah, you should be using browse. Chrome. Chrome works. Other browsers, mm -mm, they might work. They might not work. <laughs> Okay, there's also a little bit of guidance here as to what you need to do to get into a session. Okay, as this is, as you can see, it's working because April's here, Eagle's here, Hermina's here. So, but there's something between where you are and where we are that's not working properly. So, if we can figure it out, maybe we can get it working next time, I hope. Okay. Okay, so thank you very much to Hermina for the lovely reading and the topic this week. It's, uh, it was very good. And for writing, I will, I will correct your written work. 
this is something you can do, guys. If you've got something you want to read, if you've got something you want to talk about, especially on a Friday, because there's no, I don't have an agenda for Fridays. This is your chance to just come and chat. Um, then please, you know, just let me know. Let me know on the forum. Let me know here and say, oh, can I do this next week or, you know, in a month's time? Um, we're not in a hurry. So, Lynn, what did you have to do to uh, to 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 to? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do you have to rewrite? Do you have to rewrite that uh, that uh, Twitter Twitter things? I deleted it. I, I, ah, you see? Yeah, up. I thought that. Yeah, <laughs> I had completely messed up. No, I deleted it completely and uh, just reposted it with the correct information. So thank you for that. I really was confused. I thought, what's she going on about? I thought you wanted yeah, you, to rename the section. <laughs> you, think that I, you think that I was just kidding. You, you always think yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did kind of say it jokingly as well. No, um, it, it was seriously. You, <laughs> you idiot. What have you done? <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, because I think ah, uh, when uh, wars, I I don't think I I followed wars this week because there was no no wars, and then I heard myself there in the in the video. I think ah no, that is evening session. <laughs> well, I've messed up again today. Um, Marion wanted to run a session today, and I didn't know. And um, but anyhow, Marion's back for Monday from Monday. Okay. Um, so we keep an eye on the calendar this weekend. We're just in negotiation for when she'll be back. Okay. But uh, she should be back for another couple of weeks. Okay. So that's good news. <laughs> the bad news is I could have had an hour off today and Marion could have run the session, run a session on Skype, but I didn't know. But I so. told you two weeks ago or 10 days ago, I told you that you will be back at. Uh, yeah, I said she, I, yeah, I knew she'd be back, but I thought she was back next week. I didn't realize she'd be back today because it's a funny time to come back on a Friday, you know? It's like, I just wouldn't think of anybody wanting to start back on a, start work on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, Monday, you're back on Monday. That's fine. But Friday? No, <laughs> but anyway, we, we had to finish, we had to uh, do the reading anyway. So what I'll probably do is get us to do that last bit of reading in a different session because there's only a little bit of the text to read and we'll let Marion run with the, um, with her sessions. Okay. So any questions apart from, from Namiri, why can't I get into the room? Sorry that, sorry about that, Namiri. Um, any questions from anybody else about any sessions or yeah, I have a okay. In, in fact, um, in a second message today, you wrote about. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I should change beginner. I should change to my. I don't know what you what you meant with it. Yes. I, I, okay. I, I will. I no. I can't screen share it. I looked at your because you'd written the text. Okay. And because I knew you were going to do the reading today, I went to your profile. I don't often go to people's profiles yeah, unless I'm about to remove them from the forum. I, you know, I don't often look at your profile. So I went to your profile, Hermina, on the forum. You can hide yourself here as Traumvelt, but I know who you are. <laughs> Anyhow, when I went to your profile, guess what I found? Was beginner there? Absolute beginner. <laughs> Oh, really? Yes. Oh, really? And, and what would there? What, what, what would I do from it when I change it, Lynn? Here, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to prove it to everybody. Go and have a look at that, guys. <laughs> it says absolute beginner. You haven't been a beginner for years now. <laughs> okay. So if you don't change it, I'll change it for you. <laughs> I'll put native speaker or something. <laughs> but I can moder moderate. No, underneath. If you have a look under your profile and you've got your name and your points. Okay. And then it's got what level do you think your English is? 
and you've got absolute beginner. Mm-hmm. Um, so can, what you do is you click yeah. on click on the little drop down, and it should say edit profile. No, I do not. It doesn't. I I no. It doesn't work. Hey. Okay, okay you're on your, you're on your profile. Yes. I am. Yeah, I don't want to share. I can't screen share with you with you because it's got your email on it. So, uh, and then I have I have just taken the link you sent the email. Yeah, yeah. And then next to where you send a private message, yeah, there should be a little head, like a button with a head on it and a drop down. Private message moment. Describe what you can see, Hermina. Yeah. You've got your name, moderator, yeah? yeah? And then to the right-hand side of the page, what can you see? Um, um, an icon with a black uh, people, head and shoulders. Mm -hmm. And when I open the, the arrow, it points down. Add note, edit profile, delete content, mark. Okay. Then click on edit profile. Edit profile. Okay, got it. Okay, oh. good. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. Edit profile. <laughs> and and then, like moderator. And then you should be able to set to change your level. It should say yeah. um, it. at the bottom, what level? Yeah. I'm a deep speaker. Would that be okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go for it. No, I'll, make, I'll make you a teacher. <laughs> elementary, okay. You're not elementary. You're, elementary. Not, you're at least intermediate, if not okay. upper intermediate. Okay. So make yourself intermediate, otherwise I'm going to make you a native speaker. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. April, you've just put me I too. See. Me too? You're not as... I'm going to look at your profile now, April. You've got me wondering. I think uh, it uh, should be changed automatically with uh, years passing. Oh, that would be nice. But I know people who've been learning English for years and they've never actually improved. <laughs> I'm one of them in German. <laughs> I seem to be stuck at intermediate in German. I can't get beyond intermediate in German. <laughs> okay, I'm just, um, I'm just looking for April. April, where are you? April. Okay, let's go to April. Where is she? She must be on here somewhere. Ah, there you are. I've got you. So let's have a look. April. Oh, come on, April. Get in there and change that. I can't believe you guys are on absolute beginner. Joined in November 2013 and still an absolute beginner. April, you're upper intermediate. Change it now or I'll make you a native speaker. No, I chose that. <laughs> no, because it makes me look bad. You've been learning English with me since, well, before 2013 and you're still a beginner. No, you can't do that to me. <laughs> Come on, change it, change it, change it. I mean, it's like no. I've, made, I've, made, I've made absolute beginners moderators. No, 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 no. That's really making me look bad. I'm going to find Igor now. <laughs> so, Igor, what did you put yourself down as? Well, um, I think uh, my level is intermediate. <laughs> well done. All this absolute beginner is just cowardice. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, I can't possibly do speak any English or do any English. No, I'm just a little beginner. You cannot stay beginners all your lives. Well done, Igor. <laughs> If you would like to test that, Igor, ask me, send me a private message on the forum and I will um, send you a level test. It's a very detailed level test, so make sure you've got a few moments to do it though, okay? But it, only okay. if you want to, just send me a message. Okay. Now, Mary, same goes for you, okay? For being here and not being able to get into the, uh, into the room. If you want to, only if you want to, send me a private message and say, Lynn, can I take the test? <laughs> April, what was your result on that test? I'm going to go and look. I didn't have any 
this. Oh, did I not send it to you? I know that um, I know I offered it in one of the sessions, in one of the back to basics sessions. Maybe you weren't in that session. Oh, that's interesting. Let's go and have a look. See, I can always check because if you did, I will have received it um, in your. I can't remember. I did uh, this. Let's have a look. Student information. Ah, da, da, da. Ooh, no, I don't want to update you or remove you. Um, movements. Day at the office. Describing people. Oh, maybe you didn't. Or maybe I've got to send you it as well. This is going to be fun. This will keep me busy. Let me just check and see what happens um, when I look at Marco's. Ah, yeah, no, he did it. He did do it. So I did offer it, but maybe you weren't at that session. Um, so again, same offer to you, April, if you would like me to. If only if you promise after having done it to change your profile to the result. That's the offer, April. So if I send but you the I test, don't. To do it, ah, 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 that's the offer. You don't get the test if you don't promise to change to the result. But I don't want to do the test because the test is not reliable. <laughs> well, you'll never know. You'll never know. Marco found it very, very worthwhile. Aladdin, um, Aladdin took it on the promise that I would never actually tell him the result. <laughs> Which was the strangest placement test I've ever done. So everybody who's here today, if you would like to do the placement test, and it is quite, it's been changed as well. Uh, it is quite intense and it takes you right up the different levels. It starts easy and it gets harder. But if you would like to take it, send me a private message in the forum. Okay. It's a one-off offer till I do it the next time. <laughs> how is called, uh, what is called the, the test again, Lynn? What do you mean? What's it called? It's a placement test. A placement? Yes. It places you on the uh, CEFR framework, which is the common European reference. Uh, so it'll be like A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. Okay. But it also gives you a bit of feedback on um, the kind of things you might need to work on, especially when it comes to things like grammar. Uh, if there's something that you're actually struggling with it it's very good it's very intuitive it's not the one on the network okay this is a different one that i have access to that the network has access to and i won't share the results with anybody so don't worry about that you can if you want to but i won't <laughs> what are the benefits of the change what do you mean Traum? the benefits of becoming intermediate instead of a beginner yes Exactly. What what are what are the, uh, what are the benefits? Um, the benefits are that you can have a sense of achievement. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stay an absolute beginner in any language. That's like saying I don't want to grow up. <laughs> You're all language Peter Pans. That's the problem. <laughs> You'll get more friends. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, when I send you the placement test, what will happen? I will use the email you used to join the forum with. Okay, and the link to the test will come in the email. Okay, so you'll get an email and there will be a link there to the placement test. Okay, so it's not on the forum. It's not on the network as such um, because it is a fully weighted um test okay so there's lots of parts to it so do, do make sure when you start it you've got to, you put a bit of time aside and you only have to send me the results you only have to say um you only have to sort of complete it and then i will only get the information when you've completed it okay and then we can maybe do a session on it I'll send you an invitation to a session we can have a session all together if you have any questions about your results etc okay Yes, you can. Yeah, the result is a secret. Yes. Well, I mean, 
as much as anything on the internet is a secret, I can't, I, I can't promise you that the CIA won't need it. <laughs> <laughs> but I won't publish it on the network. Is, is it also a secret to a person who took the test? Uh, no, well, it can be actually. It can be, but I won't. I won't do that um, unless you want me to. Because, as I say, Aladdin took the test, but made me promise I wouldn't let him know the results. <laughs> I was like, "What's the point?" But he did it anyway, and maybe he got something out of it. Because sometimes just knowing—it's not knowing what you know. It's sometimes knowing what you don't know that can help you. And this sometimes will test I... different levels of your what you know <laughs> yeah sometimes it's better not to know and then sometimes it's better not to know yes well they say ignorance is bliss <laughs> yeah oh yeah i don't agree i don't agree at all but uh, some people do say it okay so um we're running out of time i'm going to screen share and uh, i'm going to screen share this week's leaders so i would like a volunteer to read out the week's leaders okay um same as we did before okay so from the top to the bottom or the bottom to the top oh it's great this week i'm on it and uh, let me see there's everybody's got different points so we're going from uh first to tenth or from tenth to first okay so let me just screen share You have to leave. Bye, Traum. You're still here. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. I'm getting this mixed messages here. Traum, are you still here? <laughs> or are you gone? Okay. Traum's going. Bye. Now, Mary, are you still here or are you going? <laughs> anyway, have a lovely weekend, Traum. Have a nice weekend. So, um, April, Igor, who would like to read out this week's leaderboard? Where is it? Uh, it should be in the screen share. You should be able to see it. So it's here on the left-hand side, this week's leaders. Can you see my screen share? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So if you, you, you can decide whether you want to go from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. That's up to you. Okay. <laughs> <Ian. laughs> anyway. From but you will need your ordinal numbers, okay? So in you, you say something like in tenth place we have Zom with fourteen points, okay? And then ninth, eighth, seventh, six, etc. Okay, mm -hmm. go on, give it a go. Are you doing it? Or have you got your mic muted? Well, uh, I didn't quite catch, catch what, I, what I should do. Okay, you're reading the leaderboard from the forum. Okay, so if you started at the bottom, you would say in 10th place, we have Zom with mm -hmm. 14 points. Okay, this is the number of points Zom's got this week. And then you go up. Nine, eight, seven, six, fifth, five, uh, fourth, third, second, first. Okay. Um, so we're juniors in first place. Paulette's in second place. And you just read it out in that, in that place. We have that person with that many points. Okay. So in ninth place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. We have Lynn. <laughs> Congratulations. <Yay! laughs> 15 points. <laughs> 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 in eighth place we have Elgin with 16 points and uh, next uh, one two three uh, ten, nine eight in seventh place we have um, I can't read it uh, Mi Mishu Mi uh, Mishu uh, with uh, 20 points uh, and uh, in sixth place, we have uh, Simonology with 21 points. And uh, in fifth place, we have Muna with 22 points. And in fourth place, we have 
Jacket with 23 points. That's it? Yeah, keep going. Three uh, more. Okay. Um, in third place, we have um, mm, Herridge with 27 points. And uh, in the second place, um, we have uh, Polette with 42 points. And in the first place, we have Virginia. The, Virginia with 52 points. Very good. Well done. Yay. And what are, what are the points for? Um, oh, well, it, it's what you get when you're commenting, getting badges. Um, okay. For activity. Yeah. For act exactly. For being active. <laughs> so if your post gets promoted or if people like it, lol it, anything positive, but also for the number of posts and for how long you've been a member. Um, for example, the first comment badge. If you look at, um, the first people who joined today, the first comment you badge gets them a point. The most active. Lean, <laughs> you, ha you haven't been the active, the most active. No, I never am. <laughs> well, there is a reason for that. Okay, I'm very active. But when I do a correction, I tend to do it within the other person's post rather than doing a new post. So when people like that, they get the point, not me. I, I would rather I wasn't on the board, to be honest, because if I wanted to, I could just give myself with a badge with a thousand points. Because <laughs> I run the network, I could do what I want. So I'd rather I didn't, but there's no way of removing myself from the point system and the badge <laughs> system. So, and I like badges anyway. But uh, yes, the top contributors, that's for as of all time. So you can see Bubbly is well ahead of everybody, 10,000 points. I mean, even I'm, I'm nowhere near, but April's nipping on my, nipping at my heels again. <laughs> well, not, not bad. <laughs> But it's just, it's just for fun. It's just for fun. But I like people to get the week's leaders because they're the people who've been most active this week. So, um, oh, and well done with Simonology, by, by the way. I was waiting for you to say so or something. You did it perfectly. Well done. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Igor, uh, Igor doesn't have uh, that uh, heavy Italian's uh, accent, eh? because if you listen to Igor, this just, uh, yeah, she, he speaks English, <laughs> but if you listen to Paula, for example, uh, he, she speaks always with that uh, heavy Italian don't, accent. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't, don't confuse your egos. Yeah, Igor. yeah, yeah. I'm not from Italy. <laughs> the Igor, oh, the Italy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There is there is a member called Igor as well on the forum. Yeah, and yeah, I thought that it was. An accent. <laughs> I begin to but end I, with that. Igor. You were you were in Natasha's session sometimes, uh, no, Igor, or is that another yeah, Igor? Yeah, yeah, I was I was with you. You were there also. Yeah. But uh, that that time I I had uh, another accent, maybe French. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> no, when, when you when you speak to Igor from Italy, you will know it's Igor from Italy. He's got a great accent, but it is an Italian accent. <laughs> ah, so maybe I every, every, every time uh, I talk uh, the whole time to you, and I thought that I was talking to the actor Igor. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did he keep asking you about pizza, Igor? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I and about the accent. baby but who has the baby you or the other Igor <laughs> <laughs> who has the baby I thought, I thought new baby people into real trouble by doing that hey Igor how's your baby and somebody who knows you what baby I almost asked you I almost asked you <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, it is one of the issues with the uh, internet in general. I mean, there are so many people with the same name that you wouldn't have normally come into contact with before. But uh, yeah, you need to get your egos sorted. <laughs> 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 oh, that is funny. Oh, that's great. I love it. Okay, well, and if there are no more questions um, and nothing else we can help you with, then I'm ah. going to help you in. Oh, yes, what? April, uh, yes. You have, you, we didn't, uh, we shouldn't, oh, no, we won't. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> are you practicing your modal verbs, are you? 
<laughs> we won't have a kindly session next Friday. I saw Terlin, I think. No, no if Marion's back, then the next Friday session will be in Skype. Okay, um, so what I'll do, there's only a little bit of the text left to read. Uh, what I'll probably do is we'll just read it in the Friday TGIF next week. Okay, we'll just finish it off in TGIF. Okay. Yeah, because regarding to the child labor, just a couple of days ago here, uh, a father, he had, uh, yeah, he ha his son is 10 years old and he has a, gar a garage and it was uh, a kind of uh, open, do open door day. So uh, he was um, building kind of, uh, uh, um, how do you say it, a, a show place. And uh, his son, uh, he he was huh, he was so interested in in what uh, his father's doing. So he he was helping his father, and uh, by accident, um, an inspector for uh, child labor <laughs> uh, law. I don't know. Uh, it's passing by, and he got a warning. Uh, not this silly, because they, they said, "Yeah, you you let your 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 child working." And for 10 years no. also. Yeah, it's terrible. It's, it's, oh, that's it's, ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it is I, ridiculous. I, yeah. <laughs> some, this is the problem with the law, the law versus justice. You know, people apply the law blindly because it's the law, yeah. it's the rule. You know, they've got to apply some common sense. I mean, honestly. Oh, dear me. I mean, I, I, that's like saying to your kids, you can't do any ironing or hoovering in the house. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's terrible. Yeah, and one of the minister, uh, he, he said, "Yeah, when I was a child, my father was my my parents uh, was uh, were farmers, so I I uh, helped a lot. I helped a lot, uh, yeah, to, with the, the animals and so. And uh, it is he he found it that also he uh, the this warning was uh, ridiculous. Yeah, it is it is just a joke. Oh, that's silly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, that's cool. yeah. Okay, I've just had a little message from Namiri. I cannot see this tool on my play on my page. Namiri, do you mean the activity? Because all you do is go to the front page of the forum. Make sure you are signed in. You need to be logged in. Okay. You won't see it if you're a visitor. And you just go to activity. Okay. And then you'll see it there. Moderate uh, this week's leaders, etc. Okay. So it's just home, but you need to be logged in. Make sure you sign in. So that, sign in there or sign in here somewhere, it'll say, and then go to activity. And it's always worth looking at activity because it will tell you who's the new members. Um, it will tell you who's got a, bar, a badge. <laughs> it will tell you whose birthday it is sometimes. <laughs> Who wants to leave? <laughs> and on your profile, I can't show it because it will give the world and his wife, my uh, email address, etc. Uh, but on your profile, you'll also be able to see your own activity page. Okay, if you've had any mess private messages from people. So it's worth keeping an eye. You cannot change the size of font. Ah, I see. Okay. If you're using Chrome, which you should be if you want to join the session, go up here, three dots, and go into Zoom. Okay. Mm hmm. And then if you want to make it small again, three dots, click on the three dots, zoom out. Okay. I've got bad eyesight. And sometimes I know when we're reading, April needs it large as well, don't you, April? <laughs> the larger font. So it's not changing the font. It's just zooming in and zooming out of the page. Okay. So you just go three dots, zoom in. Okay. But it's on Chrome. That said, most of the modern browsers have a zoom function or a change size. It's like small, medium, large, whatever. It's basic usability. Okay. So good luck with that, Namiri. <laughs> and I'm going to have to go now because I can hear the van pulling up. Hubby's home. We're going to walk the dog. So have a lovely weekend and I will see you next week. Keep an eye on the calendar 
uh, because Marion's back on Skype. So make sure you've got your Skype accounts sorted as well. OK, and then uh, you can join her sessions too. So busy week next week. And I'm hoping Marion will be able to look after you when I'm away. So uh, <laughs> she'll be in loco parentis whilst I'm away. When you write a post, what do you mean in the forum when you write? No, no, you can't change the, the you can no. change you the, can. the form. Yeah, not yeah, the size, can. not the size, Lynn. Yes, you can, but you have to use HTML markup language. Okay. If you know how to use HTML, go to W3 schools. And if you use those for color, for font, etc., cetera, um, then you go to formatting and you can change the sizes, etc. cetera. Okay. You can make it bold. You can make it larger, smaller, etc. But you do need to do a little bit of work. There isn't a particular, um, there isn't something you can just use. You have to actually mark it yourself. Okay. Okay. So if you go there, um, W3 schools, I would recommend everybody know the basics of HTML. It's a little bit like having a look under the hood of the car, see how the engine works. Okay. <laughs> And you can have all sorts of fun. You can even make your fonts pink or purple or <laughs> italics or, and you can even get these funny little characters in, um, ASCII characters, etc. So have a little play. Let me know uh, if you get stuck. Okay. Okay, Namiri, I'll look forward to seeing your next post. <laughs> Don't make it too large. <laughs> Any questions before I go? No? Good. I'm going. <laughs> Take care and Thank thanks you. for coming. And everybody. Okay, I've just stopped screen sharing. Thanks ever so much. Thanks, April. Thanks, Igor. Take care. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Bye, Namiri. Fingers crossed for next time, Namiri. Taking a while, might be because you're in the call, but that shouldn't matter. Good afternoon, everybody. After a little late start, getting Traum into the room. Hello, Traum. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, Lynn, I can hear you. And so Yay! I hope you can hear me. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. <laughs> okay, Igor, yes, I can see your request. Indeed, I can. Uh, but today is a slight difference in that before I invite anybody into the room, uh, Traum is going to do give a little presentation on um, an article from Spotlight, which is about repair cafes. Now, Traum's put in the forum, I'm sure you've heard of this method without the E, by the way, Traum, to get broken stuff fixed again. But not everybody's heard of repair cafes, Traum, honestly. <laughs> Oh, Great, wow. Igor. That's good. I'm glad. I will invite you into the room once Traum has done the reading. So, Traum, uh, can you remind me which um, which edition of Spotlight is it from? This particular yes, yes. article. It's, it's, it's from uh, moment. It's, it's April. April. It's April. April. And April. And page thirty. Let's see. Okay. Great. Yes. Just, yeah. and just so I can read it whilst you're, um, whilst you're, I can read it along whilst you're actually reading and now I can give you any feedback necessary. Okay. So bear with me one second. And what I'll do, everybody, um, I can't share on the screen, obviously, but I will share the text with you in local chat. Okay. Uh, so, Tram, are you ready to do the reading? Are you ready um, to read? I want you to read the article. Yeah, I want you to read the article itself. Okay. A community uh -huh. fix. A community fix. Yes. Okay. Is, is the voice? Is the volume of my voice better now, please? It's much better. Thank you. Yes. Okay. It will automatically mute. It saves you, especially um, if you've got a video camera, it saves your blushes. You don't have to switch your video on, but you do have to switch your mic on. 
<laughs> How are you? So you've never heard of a repair cafe because Hermina thinks everybody's heard of them. Well, we don't have it because uh, I think in Russia it's uh, uh, it will be dangerous uh, to go to go to bring something to that kind of cafe because you know uh, we can uh, bring there something uh, not not very kaput, so maybe a TV set or um, a computer. And uh, I'm not sure if uh, our uh, Russian very very clever boys uh, they will uh, repay it by they will also change um, um, good um, good parts for uh, already bad parts well you see Ooh. well yeah, I, I think i think it's possible here mm. i mean actually what you often find that happens in a repair cafe they don't fix it for you they show you how to fix it and all the tools are there that you might need to fix it. Although sometimes they shake their head and go, sorry, no, you can't repair that. <laughs> well, from the article, I understood that they repair it if you bring it something to them. To the, the yeah, they, they help you repair it. Okay. okay. Now, it would, of course, depend on how it's being run, uh, but it's it's free that's the thing so they're not really going to do the work for you but what they will do is they'll say oh yeah we can fix that you can fix you can fix that here you'll need this you'll need that take the back off take this part out or go and get one of those bits bring it and they kind of talk you the people who are there kind of over it's a bit like being in crafts at school <laughs> it's back in the sort of you know woodwork room or something <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if that's how every cafe, repair cafe works, but the one I went to in Germany, that's how it worked. I think Namori, Namiri's just joined us. Hello, Namiri. Can I hear you? Can you hear me? Hello, when are you ready? United States is your coffee maker kaput? Your toaster toasted? Do you have a lamp that leaves you in the dark? If the answer to any of these is yes, go directly to the repair cafe nearest you. In the US, they there they in the US they exist in eleven states worldwide. Says the foundation's website, there are more than one thousand two hundred of them in thirty countries. Repair cafe gatherings much Pe people with broken toys, ripped clothes, and defective electro electronics to those who may be able to fix them for free. One of the things that makes it challenging and interesting is that we don't know what people are going to bring. Ray Fow, a repair cafe organizer in the U.S. state of Massachusetts, told the New York, York Times. Former journalist Martin Postma created the repair cafe concept in Amsterdam, starting the non-profit organization in 2009. Her idea was to push back against throwaway culture because repair costs are high. People often take broke things to the camp and then simply buy something new. Guidelines and tips for people who want to open new locations can be found on repaircafe.org. There is no cost to, particip to participants, but the profits in terms of community are tremendous. Liz Bickett, who is raising four children on her own, two of them being natures, visiting the repair cafe in the town of New Paltz, New York. She needed help with boosted headphones and a computer. It opened my eyes to the fact that this stuff is built to fail, she said, adding that the, of, that the, um, uh, the, uh, the, 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 of Baldari, way in which some products are built can make it tough even to take them apart. But try, she must. 
I would not be able to replace every single thing they break, the kid said, referring to her children. Are you kidding me? Very good. Well done. Proprietary. Proprietary. Oh, no, not pro. Pro. Proprietary. Proprietary. Yeah. Does anybody know what proprietary means? If something is proprietary? Basically, if you are um, talking about products here, you're talking about product, products that have a trade name. So like Hoover yeah, is a proprietary product. It actually belongs to the Hoover company, although we often use it for um, any vacuum cleaner in the UK. A vacuum cleaner tends to be called a Hoover, but Hoover is actually a proprietary name, okay? Belonging to someone. Yeah, Igor, exactly. So, um, does everybody know what a repair cafe is? Do you have any repair cafes in your country or in your area? Have you ever been to one? Hamina, have you ever been to one? No, no, never. I think... No, Not even I, for I, your Mila. <laughs> pardon me? Haven't you asked me? Yeah, yeah, I did. But you said your Mila was broken. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I, oh God, Linda, I would, do you mean I should pack my washer in the, in the, <laughs> yeah, it tends to be for some people do. Repair cafe. <laughs> no, you've no. never heard of it. Okay. Let's, let's invite Igor in. Igor's the only one I think who's raised their hand at the moment. So Igor, um, when you join, you need to be on your PC or computer or laptop preferably with a good connection and a headset, okay? So I'm going to invite you in. You'll have to accept the Webinar Jam app and go through the test. You have to go through the test every time you join a call, okay? Sorry about that, but that's just the way it is. <laughs> well, Namiri, they are a great idea. Now, that said, in the article, if you notice, she does mention headsets. Now, I did go to a repair cafe in Germany with a broken headset. And it's only a wire that's broken, but they couldn't fix it. And as they say, it's almost like these things are designed to fail. Once upon a time, if it was broken, we fixed it. We didn't go out and buy a new whatever it was, neither washing machine nor television. I can remember the TV repair man coming round. Um, and now you're very lucky if you can find anybody willing to repair something. I don't know if it's the same way you are, Hamina. Hi, yeah. April. Nice to see you. Yeah, sorry, Hamina. Now, yeah, nowadays you are right. When when our uh, we have a flat screen, and when uh, when we have any problems, and I call the TV man, then I explain him what type we are have uh, on on the telly, and then she says, no, no, there is no chance to repair it. There, yeah, everything that's in it is is not made for for any uh, repair. Yeah, it's sad, really. Igor, can I hear you? Can you hear me? Both ways. Okay, I can't hear you at the moment. Could you unmute your mic and say hello? Don't forget, your mic is muted when you join. Yeah, hello. Hi. 